Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve the no audio output device is installed error message you're experiencing on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So if you're having this issue and no audio device is installed and the audio isn't working, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve it. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So first thing I would suggest doing would be to go down to your system tray and locate your speaker icon. I recommend turning up the audio and make sure that your microphone wasn't muted or your speakers weren't muted. Also, if you have a power button for your speakers, if you're using like plug-in speakers, make sure they're turned on as well. Something else we can try here too, if you open up the search menu and type in troubleshoot, best match, you'll come back with troubleshoot settings. Go ahead and open that up. Underneath options, select other troubleshooters. And then underneath most frequent, select the audio troubleshooter and the corresponding run button. And then I recommend following along with the on-screen prompts here for what it suggests. And depending on your selections, it'll change what the output is, and it'll attempt to run other diagnosing utilities as well. So pretty straightforward process on that, guys. And then hopefully your issue would have been resolved. You may want to look into updating your audio drivers as well. So opening up the search menu, type in device manager. Best match, you're going back with device manager. Go ahead and open that up. And now you want to go underneath the audio inputs and output section. Double click on it. Right click on your speaker output and select update driver. Select browse my computer for drivers and then select let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. If there's a manufacturer or developer specific one, I recommend selecting that. Otherwise you can select the generic driver and then select next. And then again, hopefully that would have been able to resolve the problem for you. And as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.